what you'll need to do is make an assessment of what you have available to you in terms of an available hole in your countertop. Many faucets these days actually have the sprayer as part of the faucet, uh, and then there's an opening that just has a decorative cap over it. In this particular case, we have a sprayer, and we're going to remove the sprayer, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do first, you're going to crawl into your sink. To disconnect the sprayer, in our case, we're under the sink. This is the line that goes to the sprayer. So we're going to remove that, and then we're going to cap it off. Be sure to bring it down into a pan to collect the water. Take some Teflon tape and wrap it around the end a couple times. All right, and then just screw the cap on and tighten with your wrench. So now come over to where the sprayer hooks up under the sink and all you're going to do is gently twist and disconnect the When you get to this part, be careful when you're on the final couple threads, this thing could fall down and hit you on the head. So, okay, so now we have disconnected the bottom of the sprayer and we're gonna come back up to the top of the counter and just pull it out. 